One of the powerful features of the Rene is its built-in quantizer, which allows you to keep notes of its sequence locked to any key or chord you choose. But if you're not clocking a sequence, you can use CV addressing to fake the quantization of external control voltage as well. And since you choose the value of each step, the quantization can be non-linear if you prefer. The key is the XCV input. With Rene in snake mode, this input can be used to choose which is the base location of Rene. Here's an offset for maths controlling it. Note that it ignores negative voltage. You can also change the route through the locations by switching snake patterns with the YCV control. Here's a linear cycle repeating through the pattern. Note also that the last location touched is where the addressing starts. I find it easiest to keep this in the lower left corner. Changing the curve of the math cycle to exponential means it speeds up as it goes higher. logarithmic means it slows down as it goes higher. Adding a faster cycle to math sum, so we can get small movements around the base addressed value. Using the end of cycle gate to the Y clock lets us switch snake patterns automatically after each cycle. Repeating functions are not the only type of voltage you can use for this. Here's some stepped random voltage from the Wogglebug. An advantage of this approach is that sometimes two steps are close enough together that they address the same Rene location, resulting in occasional longer notes despite the steady clock. Don't forget you can save four sets of quantized voltages in the Q page.